So for example, if someone has a high PSA, the next step really is the DRE and an MRI scan if there is concern on the basis of the PSA and the DRE. If the MRI scan is negative, then we are confident, reasonably confident, 90% confident that there is no underlying prostate cancer present within someone's prostate. If, however, we continue to follow that man up, his PSA increases in the context of a negative MRI, the next step is a PSMA PET scan. And the purpose of that PET scan basically is to make sure that that individual is not someone who has a false negative MRI scan. So the probability that someone can still have cancer despite a normal MRI scan is around 10%. So just to recap on that point, if the MRI scan is normal but the PSA continues to increase, we usually then perform a PSMA PET scan to try and reduce the probability that someone has occult or hidden prostate cancer.